Guys, here at OSMVDXTrees.com, we're showing you a few more neat tricks you can do with the Samsung Bot OS operating system. In particular, there are a few uh, tricks, again, that Samsung hides that you might not really be familiar with, but uh, we found it during our testing period, and we found it's, it's pretty cool, and we definitely wanted to share it with you. One of those features is the contacts list. Pressing the contacts, you'll be noted, greeted with your usual contacts list with all the people you want to call. And of course, by pressing one by on someone's name, you can either add a photo for them for their phone number, their email, their contact information, etc., etc. Um, but on the right-hand side of the, of the device, you have a bar which you can use to slide up and down in order to access their respective names and scroll on your list faster. Um, these are pretty standard things, but probably the, the more cooler element of this is definitely the ability to call people directly by pressing on their name. You, in order to do this, you basically take someone's name, not delete it, but you slide to the to the right, and you can say it's calling. And then, uh, of course, right now we don't have a SIM card installed, but if we did, it would start calling that person immediately. And if we wanted to send them a message, we would slide basically to the right, and it says send a message, and then we can... Uh, send them a message respectively, and also attach videos or media files as we want. So those are just a pretty cool um, series of features that we've, we found, basically the ability to call people just by sliding back and forth. Pretty cool feature there on Samsung's part. Other features that we found and we thought were pretty interesting uh, include um, inside of the actual my files selection part. Uh, you can also set the device to different themes and uh, those are pretty easy to customize as well. Um, themes can also be downloaded from samsung.com. You can look at different themes. This is just a default theme right now, but if we wanted to uh, download different themes, you can see that you can change between different ones. Right now this is a plain ordinary, the white theme, but if you go to Samsung's app store, you can download more and they will change the entire background, the menu system, and also generically how the applications and folders look and being displayed on your device. So if you want more customization, download more themes. Another feature we found was the universal search feature. Now pressing, uh, again, we said that holding down the, the uh, menu key brings up your list of all of open applications, and again, you can close your different applications or launch to different areas of the application screen. Uh, but but by pressing the application, the home, the menu key two times brings up the universal search application. So pressing it twice brings up the search client. And here we can search all apps, all contacts, all phone numbers, and we can even search the web for more media content. So if we wanted to press A P P. Uh, let's just app and we can search that you can see that we have a list of all our different things like Samsung apps that are related to that search and then by pressing that we are immediately launched into the application there's some contacts and there we go we are back into the app store now let's say that you have this device first and you uh, get this phone and uh, for some reason you don't you aren't prompted to enter your uh, Samsung um, app store information right away and you find that you can't download any games without first signing up for an account and you're thinking well how can I do that um, in case you know you buy a second and second hand device where someone else has already input inputted their information you can always delete that and create your own how you do that is actually uh, by sliding through to um, the let me try and think for a moment there's your social hub um, not settings, but my accounts right there, you can actually set things um, by taking an account and altering it. And there is, there's your Facebook account that you can take a look at. You can see you can sync that or delete it accordingly. You can also change the settings there by changing the navigation and you can also set up more um, by you know adding more lists onto there so you can download your own apps and create your own services. Um, so those are a few basic things that we found here, here and there, that we found we thought were pretty interesting and wanted to share with you. Um, let's see if there's anything else worth men men mentioning. Uh, as far as the FM radio goes, you have to be, you have to have your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack inserted into this device in order to listen to music because it uses the headphones as an antenna. So make note of that. Um, I think that's pretty much it uh, as far as, as interesting tidbits that we found just by playing around with this handset. Um, otherwise, if you haven't, please watch our full video review of this handset where we also showed you you could tilt the phone to navigate through your different images and photos and the like in the media viewer. 
So again, it's a very interesting device. Samsung has done a lot of customization. It's, it's definitely a little bit more different than what you might expect from uh, something that, that runs on Android. It has a lot more, more freedoms and options, and also it's a little bit more customizable. But um, all in all, we think that Samsung, again, did a really nice job with this phone. We love the operating system. On this particular model, we think that the processor could have been amped up considerably because uh, at the moment, it's, it's kind of sluggish, to be honest, once you start doing a lot of heavy weight uh, productivity tools and the such. For display and light, again, you can set that over here and make it lighter or brighter, depending on how you want to do that. And you can change the home screens and the memory about your phone, your messaging, your applications to turn Wi-Fi on and off, connectivity, and the like. So yeah, that's pretty much an overview of some more tricks and tips that we found along the way. Thanks for watching this video here at osmvtxreviews.com.